good afternoon guys and happy um happy wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces forgot what day it was i was actually editing guys i didn't clean the kitchen yet um i was editing and i was like okay i'll do it like maybe later in the afternoon because my dad's not supposed to be home anyway until five o'clock um but the mailman came and delivered the vacuum cleaner guys so um i told you guys i was totally like look at that i was totally <laughs> nerding out over the vacuum cleaner um and so i just got the um it just came in like a plastic like wrap sort of thing and then we got the extra tool which they put this box inside of this box um which seems like it's kind of a big box and i heard like something rattling around in there but that was inside of the other box and i was like it seems like kind of a big box to like whoa focus there um it seems like kind of a big box to have this other like little box inside of but um that was for pre like pre-registering or like um doing the like auto um uh register of the vacuum cleaner so we have the five year warranty on it for parts and labor which like i told you guys is like really good because if something does wind up happening to it you know whatever it will last for five years because it was decently we got it on sale but it's still a little bit more money of a vacuum cleaner and so i think i was telling you guys yesterday like it made sense for us to get a hopefully expensive vacuum cleaner that will work and last for a long time at a minimum of five years um because you know we tend to go through vacuum cleaners kind of often we're currently using the shop vac um as our vacuum cleaner and it is a bag and the bags are kind of not very cheap um you know so we do have to replace those kind of often especially because we have three dogs and you know they accumulate a lot of hair so we're obviously you know going through you know bags for the shop vac that isn't really supposed to be a home vacuum cleaner anyway we're going through that kind of a lot um you know for something like a bagless vacuum cleaner we don't have to buy extra pieces for um so i think from what my dad read was that the um the other attachment so we got the dyson ball animal to total clean so the total clean i think the difference between just the dyson ball animal 2 and the total clean um is that it has a slightly i think either longer cord or it has a longer um like um hose one of the two I, I think it was the cord was a little bit longer like maybe by a foot or something like that it wasn't anything too crazy and to me that wasn't that big of a deal um but it had all of the extra accessories so i think it came with it comes with nine accessories um i'll show you guys it but um it ended up being actually was a hundred dollars with the 200 it's normally i think 600 dollars. it was 200 dollars off um so it was only 400 and um it ended up being actually a hundred dollars cheaper than what the just the dyson ball animal 2 is that's 500 dollars, and it was not on sale um so since i saw that and was like hey we also get all of these extra you know like cleaning feature things you know the attachment tools and stuff like that i was like to me that justifies spending that much plus again we'll have it for at least five years so we're not you know again going through i i honestly feel like the bags for the shop vac is like maybe they're 20 dollars or something like that like they're not really cheap um so if you figure that alone and we go through at least like you know if we say we go through five of them in a year that winds up being a hundred dollars per year and again we ended up getting the vacuum cleaner for less than what would be a hundred dollars per year for five years um you know it, so that nothing happens to it so obviously if anything breaks with it or happens whatever we have it for five years um you know the pieces and all that kind of stuff can be replaced um you know for free plus two it even said i was reading on the box that it's free shipping to and from like the dyson facility um like they'll pay for shipping if anything happens to the you know to the vacuum cleaner um and you need it to get repaired or whatever for me i was like that's kind of worth it <laughs> um so i was gonna claim the like i said i was i was editing actually when the um the i think it was up 
UPS dropped the box off. Um, and so that's why I got my blue light glasses on right now. Um, and I was editing and then my dad said though he won't be home until like 4.30 or 5 o'clock. So I was like, okay, well, I'll clean the, the kitchen a little bit later. Um, and you know, cause normally I try and do it when there's not really many people home. And so since my dad said he was still gonna be gone, I was like, okay, I can, you know, clean it a little bit later cause I was editing. <laughs> and um, then this came and now I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to wait for him to get home to put the thing together or I can try and put it together and then see if I can use it to clean the kitchen today and figure out how it works. So anyways, with the attachment tools though, I think they're supposed to ship and they're not supposed to be here. Um, like they ship separately, I believe. I have to open the box and actually find out. But I believe that they ship separately and I think they're not supposed to come until like two weeks from Friday, I think, or something like that. Like not until almost the end of the month, like one of the last Fridays, I think, of the month. So that kind of stinks, but it was a good thing that my dad actually read it ahead of time because if not, I probably would have unboxed the box and been like, where are all these extra pieces? So um, from what he read, it sounded like they're supposed to ship separately. I don't know though, cause he said the attachment tools. I don't know if that was that or the one we got for free for doing the five year um, auto warranty. So um, if that is the case, then it shipped and it came today. That piece already is here, um, which I thought was what was supposed to come today, but I think it's the extra tools that are supposed to come on, um, like I said, like Friday. So it's supposed to be kind of a ways out, but the vacuum actually had two day shipping on it. So we ordered it on Sunday, it came today. The order was actually processed on Monday, so it ended up coming today um, because of, you know, the, the weekend and everything like that. So anyways, I'll share with you guys what all of this looks like because like I said, I'm super excited. I don't know why I'm such a like nerd when it comes to this, but I'm like, yay, this can help me clean now and I don't have to worry so much about it. And um, it's also really cool too because it is like the certified asthma and allergy friendly too, which is also really good too because I can't tell you guys how many times with our old vacuum cleaner, I would vacuum and then right after that, I would, it would feel like I, like I was all like up in a dust storm because it was, you know, the dog's dog hair and all that kind of stuff. Um, while I don't know that I'm necessarily allergic, it's just like that dust and stuff like that, you know, but I noticed that even from the vacuum cleaner, like it was not like, you know, it would wind up blowing stuff back out and <laughs> that, um, you know, and like the dust and stuff like that. So, um, I do know that the Dyson, I think almost all the Dyson vacuums are that as well. So anyways, I'll share this with you guys. So this is a box for, this is again, the total clean. So I believe the total clean is the blue and the Dyson Ball Animal 2 is maybe either just the yellow or the purple. So anyways, ours is blue. Um, and that's again, I think they do that so like the total clean is that color. And again, there's a one or two maybe small different features than what the actual animal is. Um, so anyways, yeah, strongest suction. Let's see, <laughs> just walk around here. Um, and then it has, and I'll show you guys this is also up at the top, all of the different attachments and everything like that. Um, but yeah, it has all of the, um, the one thing too that was kind of cool is that it does have the different, the, um, uh, it has a self adjustment like on hard surfaces and carpets. So like ours isn't obviously that different. That's really most of what it is in that carpet over there, which clearly needs to be vacuumed. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's not that like our carpet isn't like super, super thick in one spot. And you know, then we have hardwood floor in another, but it will, it does auto adjust as well. Um, which I did hear some things like people were saying like, this isn't really the best, like it doesn't work that amazing. Um, Again, ours, like we never would wind up switching it, probably should have between the carpets, but it was like our carpet was so thin anyway, it kind of almost didn't really matter that much. And then this is just all about the um, the Dyson like cyclone technology, all that kind of stuff and the ball technology and everything and how it's supposed to swivel and stuff like that. Um, and then on this side, um, this is all about the five year warranty. So again, it has, um, if you you'd like need support and then too, if there's anything wrong with it, it's free shipping and and then their service and all that kind of stuff. So this is what the total clean comes with. It comes with a tangle free turbine tool. It comes with this. I think this is like for the animal, like for dog hair, it's not supposed to get stuck. This one um, is one of like the flat floor surfaces. This one is the, um, the dusting brush. So, and with the um the the five year like auto warranty um you 
sign up and you get like an also an extra free tool. Um, it was three that were available. There was the dog grooming or like pet grooming, I guess. Our dogs are terrified of the vacuum cleaner, so trying to get them anywhere near it to use it was kind of pointless. Then there was the one we got that's over there, and then they had a third one that was kind of similar to this, and I think maybe it was just like longer or shorter or something like that. It was kind of a little bit different, but I was like, honestly, we got one that was really similar with the total clean anyway, so that's why I ended up going with that one, um, which just made the most sense. And like I said, these animals would be terrified if you tried to put the vacuum cleaner next to them and use it to groom them, which they're not that bad. They don't really like shed all that much. It's really that one over there that's laying upside down is the problem. Um, this one is a mattress tool, a reach under tool, which is slightly similar to that one, but you guys can see like this one is like more of an elongated one. And that one is actually, I think it's called the flat out total flat out tool or something like that. Um, and a multi-angle brush, a combination tool, stair tool, and then the accessory bag also so that obviously you can keep all of the stuff in there. And then this is the flat out tool that you can obviously use. It, you know, like I said, it gets pretty flat um, so that you can use it under like the, um, the oven or stove, you know, underneath beds and couches and all that kind of stuff. So it will get really flat and you can actually fit it underneath there. Um, so again, it's kind of similar to that other one that comes with the total clean. Um, I think this might just be the attachment for that. Anyways, those are kind of all of the things that end up coming with it. And it's certified, like I said, as men allergy friendly. So I'm going to get the box open, maybe try and put it together. Um, I don't know how much assembly is required, um, but I just don't want to put it together like backwards, you know, <laughs> and then it winds up not working. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty simple, but I'm also going to assume that there's probably at least some slight assembly required because it does seem like it fit into a nice snug little box so we will see so just kidding guys about the shipping the other part separate it did all come together I don't know what my dad was reading maybe it was for again like this was supposed to come at a different time because it did ship separately um but it ended up coming at the same time that's the only thing I can think of um but because like I'm assuming these are going to be all the parts. <laughs> I haven't counted them up, but like this is the um, the turbine, like the animal one or whatever um, for like pet hair. That's the bag. Again, some of them too. The other ones, I'm thinking maybe this is the mattress tool. Um, I think this is the angle one. So again, it does wind up coming with um, the, all the attachments. I think ended up coming all together at the same time, which makes sense. Um, I don't know why they would have shipped it separately, but like I said, maybe it's from the warranty part we ended up getting so again I got everything out like almost out of breath it was a struggle trying to get that stuff out of the box um so yeah it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that hard to put together um and it does look like there's some directions in here so um I can read these and hopefully get the whole thing all put together and then I can use it to clean the kitchen today. It looks like I got the whole thing all assembled. Haven't actually tried to turn it on yet uh, to make sure it actually works. Oh, somebody's not scared of the vacuum cleaner because it's turned off. <laughs> Let to see when it's turned on if you like it or not. The one thing, guys, I it's honestly very easily easy assembly. The only thing I couldn't figure out was apparently to get this like this is the hose part to get it back in like actually into this like part situated in here like this right so I kept going like this I was like it won't go in and I was like I'm gonna break this thing before I finally get it in there didn't realize you have to tilt it back and it slides right in um yeah so that was the hardest part and I was like these directions are not helping me um and I don't even really think it said in the directions like to tilt the handle back and then slide like it'll slide in so I'm having a little bit of difficulty in that part um but other than that it was honestly a quick like just snap some it literally was like the whole directions just said click this and click that and it was just pictures and so yep we'll try it out and see how it works um I also didn't realize too the cool thing is that there's no like release right with our other one you have a little release thingy here it just does one of these and goes all by itself and then the like back legs like fly up and then you got the whole the ball that's just on there and this guy he is not having any of it he is like get that thing as far away from me as possible i got all the attachments set up in the bag as well um so yeah we can try all these out too there's like like i said in total i think we got 
like basically nine attachments and then the bag because we got eight attachments from it actually being like total that part of it and then we got the extra one from which i tried it out on the floor already and you can see i was just running it across the floor obviously a lot of dog hair um so yeah that was all of them and they fit in here and we can put this again in the closet or something this bag too is like holy cow is it nice it's like nice out of my purse um <laughs> like it's so thick and like durable like that thing's gonna outlast any vacuum cleaner <laughs> um so yeah, there's that. And then this is what I think comes with like just the basic Dyson vacuums. It's just like the, like this brush and then this like long extending wand thingy and then the little like small little one. But this could just gets clipped on to the actual vacuum cleaner. Um, so I even tried to like to figure out how you do the, if it's just the one click release and then you release it again to actually open the, um, you know, so it's like this just clips off. And then you just clip like that when it's full and it will release all the stuff into trash can and you don't have to touch it. Um, so yeah, it's also not that great of a fill line. Like the max is kind of small-ish. Um, plus two, there's like the filter, which is supposed to be a lifetime filter that you're just supposed to like clean out, I guess, and everything like that. But um, I read about that ahead of time as well. Um, so yeah like i said guess we will try this out and see how it works guys do you see that do you see how clean that carpet is holy cow i should have maybe done it before and after anyways this is a before right so there's some stuff in here obviously there's probably a little bit of dog hair i already had to empty that because of how much stuff it ended up sucking up that i didn't even know it was in there and like we just vacuumed the carpet too a couple days ago not like yesterday but um because again it's a pain when you have to get a shop vac out every time you want a vacuum so um okay i also love how like i mean i guess the downfall is it is a little heavy but it has so much like power behind it like it doesn't feel like a cheapy vacuum if that at all makes sense too like it has a little bit of pull too to it especially when like the um you know, like the, the rotator thingy, the turbine, whatever it is in there is going, which you're supposed to do on carpet. Um, and so, yeah, I was like, holy cow, like it started taking me away and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I'll show you guys the before and after and how much winds up getting sucked off of just this little runner right here. All right, guys. So that's what we ended up getting off the carpet from just like I said, this one little runner that was right here. Um, and you can clearly actually see a difference in it, I think. Um, it's crazy how, again, this probably has been able to get stuff up that was so like deep into the carpet fibers <laughs> that the other vacuums couldn't, you know, our old two vacuum cleaners really. Um, so yeah, now I think I'm actually gonna go and clean the kitchen right now. So I have an excuse to use this on the kitchen floor and see how well it does on hardwood floor as well and on tile. I'm gonna go take a shower and get to bed now. I was able to get the kitchen cleaned and was able to use the new vacuum to do that because yesterday I didn't end up um, cleaning like the hallway normally i clean the hallway and the bathroom floors on the day i clean the bathroom <laughs> but um actually because jack was at football practice yesterday i didn't get a chance to ask him to bring down the other the shop vac for me yesterday and i didn't know where it was i didn't know if he actually put it back in the attic like he was supposed to or if he just threw it upstairs somewhere and i was like i don't want to be looking for this forever so i was like i'll just wait till he gets home and then forgot to ask him for it so luckily when that came today i was just able to use it I did try and use it on my carpet as well and it worked really well but it's suction is so strong guys that like my super like insanely high like carpet um like it worked but like it kept like pulling it um so what I actually ended up doing was um I ended up using the like the like pet turbine one whatever that one was um and it worked amazing so um i ended up doing that on my bedroom carpet because normally when i clean the bathroom i just walk in here and then also clean my floors <laughs> too um and that way it just kind of kills two birds with one stone because i always have the vacuum cleaner in the same space um so again ended up getting to that but um yeah i wish that 
the putting together of the vacuum and the <laughs> cleaning of the kitchen didn't take me quite as long today because I wanted to edit three vlogs because I think I had one edited from like Friday or Saturday or something like that last week and so I needed to um, edit like three so I could hopefully upload four at a time so I only edited two today so now I have three <laughs> that are edited um, and so I will upload two of them and then have one still left over um just because i'm not gonna upload like a random three of them um normally i upload like in even numbers um just because of when i will have them scheduled for when i'm behind so anyways yeah that kind of stuff took a little bit more of my time today to do that but overall everything with the um you know like i said the vacuum ended up working the one thing though that does again it's because the suction is so strong on that vacuum which is honestly it's amazing um but at the same time i noticed like the hose it's because the suction's so strong too it's like it like contracts so much when you're like trying to like vacuum at the same time so i'm like having to like hold the hose and try and like so that it's not contracting because if not it like contracts back up almost you know because like i said the suction so strong into the vacuum so it's a little bit of i think just getting used to kind of how strong it is because i'm not used to having a vacuum that has that much um you know power behind it um you know and so yeah like i said just getting used to a couple of different things and using that um and again to one of the big things that we're gonna have to kind of focus on trying to get done soon here is our hall closet which is where we used to store our vacuum cleaner but that hall closet is just it's a disastrous mess um we've got like one little shelf like um like a metal um like uh like closet shelf organizer thing in there but it's not even on the organizer it's like tied together with tie wraps and all kinds of crazy stuff <laughs> um i think it was honestly from the owners before us we didn't even put it in i think it's been here the whole time from what i can remember um and so i found a bunch of like under the stairs closets not organizers but ideas on pinterest on how to make your own and so i was like wow these are all really awesome ideas i totally want to use these as um you know stuff that we can do in that space um and so you know hopefully if we can do that then we can get the vacuum cleaner to actually go in there and stay in there permanently but like right now it's such a mess and people you like you have to climb over stuff half the time to get through the closet um to get into you know getting the things that you need in the back of the closet or whatever i don't want to put the vacuum cleaner in there if there's a chance that something would happen to it um in that closet especially when it's not you know organized well in that closet so that is one project that we need to work on soon but I think we need to finish building um well we have a little bit with the noodle board that still needs to get done and then also to the bird um uh the the last part that we have to do with the bird um what's it called thing outside um you know our little bird sanctuary area we have another piece that we are still adding to that um i think i was telling you guys about that jack also mowed the lawn today because since we were in that drought it did not need to be mowed for like weeks and finally then we got all that rain like last week um you know and yeah i think it's pretty much most of last week um and so the grass is like five feet tall i was like <laughs> this is kind of crazy um and so i've heard like now too because it's, it's cooler out a little bit um we've had mainly the house the windows open in the rest of the house it's kind of stuffy in my room so that's why mine and my parents in my mom's office we just still have the air conditioners or just the fans going um so <laughs> anyways though but the the windows have been open i've been hearing all the neighbors like it's been a different neighbor almost like every day has been mowing their lawn too i think and like every couple of hours i hear a different like somebody else is mowing their lawn because i think everybody's getting to that point where it's like wow the grass is really tall we need to mow it <laughs> um you know it's all of a sudden it just shot up like it went from being like dead like <laughs> you know completely brown to now everybody's grass is like like i said a good foot tall <laughs> now we all need to mow the lawns um so anyways yeah guys jack did the front lawn he said he's gonna get to the back lawn tomorrow which is nice because i just feel like we have a fresh like the outside feels fresh after a nice lawn mowing as well um and the house feels clean too because again i got to those rooms that i got cleaned i don't know if i'm gonna get to the living room because there's just clutter in the living room right now and it's kind of hard to clean when there's just clutter everywhere so i will do what i can but most likely 
won't be too much. I vacuumed the carpets in there today already. So, um, anyways, I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your Sunshiny Pieces tomorrow. So, bye guys.